Okay, in this video we are going to learn how to do recursive functions on the TI-89 graphing calculator. Um, so here is our question. They tell us that x sub 0 equals 0, x sub n plus 1, the next term is going to be rad 6 plus x sub n, and what is x sub 3? Um, so what this is essentially saying is that the first term is 0. They're saying the next term is just going to be radical 6 plus that first term. x sub 2 is just going to be radical 6 plus that previous uh, x sub 1. And the last term, x sub 3, is just going to be radical 6 plus that previous x sub 2. So let's define a function here. Let's hit F4 for our drop down, choice number 1, define. And we're going to say what f of x is equal to. So we push alpha and then f, open the parentheses, f of x equals radical 6 plus x. Close that parenthesis, hit enter. We can see the calculator says that it's done, meaning it accepted um, our defined function. Now they tell us again that the first term x sub 0 is 0. So let's push 0, enter. That's our first term. Now the next term we just want to say, okay, what is the f, the function, of the previous answer? Um, now, for the previous answer, we can see a, just this negative sign here. You have the ans, that means previous answer. So we hit second, and then the ans key, and then we close that parenthesis. And this is going to tell us what is the function output of the previous answer we had, which in this case, the previous answer was 0. So this will tell us what f of 0 is. And f of 0, the output gives us rad 6. So our x sub 1, the output is rad 6. Now to find x sub 2, here's the cool part. Just hit enter again. And it's just this. Now to find x sub 3, let's hit enter one more time. And the answer is this mess. Radical rad 6 plus rad 6 plus rad 6. Now you can see the answer choices, however, are in approximate decimal form, not in exact form. So let's take this answer, let's clear this, scroll up, let's just uh, highlight this answer, um, and now let's just get an exact form. Let's just push diamond and then enter, which will give the answer in exact form. Whoops, let's bring the answer down first. So we, now we've brought this into the field, and we're just going to push diamond and then enter to get us into the approximate form, which is 2.98. And that's our answer, which is 2.984, which is choice C. And we're done.